I'd like to give the floor to Raja, Dr. Raja Venkatramani. Uh, you are. Thank you. you. Can start. Yes, uh, please. The idea here is to give a a very quick bird's eye view or snapshot view of the efforts being made in what we are calling as uh, uh, presently the world's largest transformational effort in uh, terms of uh, uh, toilet open defecation management or uh, i mean prevention and cleanliness so this mission launched in uh, officially in uh, 2014 is called the swachh bharat mission which uh, in english translates as the clean india mission in this context just wanted to mention about valentine mentioned mr rajkumar mentioned about the large uh, uh, huge numbers of people uh, facing with the the problem of open defecation in the absence of alternate available facilities before this program started the whole idea was that i mean not idea the whole uh, uh, perception is that maybe the numbers were in the region of about 500 million but this has considerably reduced but various challenges remain this cleanliness mission combines uh, both trying to make the country open defecation free and manage the solid waste management in a much more improved manner but since today we are focusing on toilets in world toilet day i am taking up those aspects relating to uh, what are the efforts in regard to toilet and uh, waste management linked to toilets so the swachh bharat mission clean india mission comprises both urban and rural the rural is called grami the open defecation aspect is focused on toilets which has three types of toilets which the government is trying to fund which is individual household toilets community toilets and public toilets and there are three levels of maturity in our planning one is the focus initially on toilets which we call as odf planning the second is odf plus which is toilets and uh, somehow there should be improved water maintenance and hygiene and then we have odf plus plus which is an even higher level where there is improved sludge and septage management presently we say that we have largely achieved odf we will talk about uh, the uh, issues around that and the aspiration is to move to odf plus and odf plus plus next please we said it started in 2014 and to the extent we are focusing on toilets the buzzword in the initial phase was more toilets get into toilets and we are not saying that uh, that alone is uh, 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 solves the whole problem but is it's an important part of the solution so rural toilets there has been massive building of maybe 90 to 100 million urban they say about 8 to 10 million but along with toilets the key aspects have been how to uh, uh, improve actual usage and how to promote avoidance of manual scavenging which is related to absence of proper uh, toilets in the present phase we are looking at how do we make all these toilets sustainable so in answering the questions of sustainability there is more attention being paid to is there water available do we have to uh, transform and retrofit existing toilets which have been constructed in a hurry and there is a closer attention to technology issues now this is in a very nascent stage so in this phase the entire the new buzzword is solid and liquid waste management a major no uh, earlier slide please yeah earlier slide in what way is this different from the earlier efforts the key thing is that there has been very serious political signaling right from the prime minister to the heads of all the states who are called chief ministers to the major bureaucrats all of them are signaling and are pushing forward this uh, this uh, effort for a clean india uh, mission then the second major new initiative has been in trying to promote competition among cities there is an annual ranking among cities which is called as sarva sarvekshan a third important component has been 
how do we transform you know creation of awareness and uh, changing behavioral patterns by uh, 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 moving from from you know top level government advertisements and things like that to more community driven initiatives next please so there have been various toolkits they are available on the website the the one which does the annual ranking of uh, uh, cities is called as uh, in terms of cleanliness is called as the swachh sarvekshan 2021 it's available on the website these are other toolkits also available on website for those who may be interested which tell how the government is trying to push the initiative forward next please this just gives a background to the scoring criteria very broadly uh, which is practiced by the sarva sarvekshan now on the right hand side i have mentioned that this covers solid and liquid waste management which includes the toilet waste uh, there are three types of uh, categories one is service levels where where the municipality uh, gives its own assessment as to what are the standards it is uh, following in terms of collection transportation processing disposal etc then a second category is uh, third party certification and the third aspect is trying to engage directly with the citizens in getting its feedback and then uh, seeing to what extent a uh, new app which is being uh, uh, popularized is being used and there are also marks for innovation and best practices details relating to how this links up with maybe toilet and related fecal search management will be provided by my colleague uh, mr amit mishra subsequently next please i just want to mention that um, on behalf of uh, 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 the two government officials who will be speaking one is uh, mr roshan kumar roshan kumar singh who is ias from our uh, administrative services he is the ceo of what we call as a zilla panchayat khandwa and uh, uh, this is focused on the rural areas at the district level and uh, there are a number of villages uh, within his uh, panchayat and the total population is about 1 million considering all the villages put together and the second speaker if he may not be there we will be carrying some messages on his behalf represents Uh, the experience of a city which is chinwara mr himanshu singh and uh, the population of the city is approximately uh, 250000 presently officially and uh, they both invite all participants especially on the technical side to suggest uh, and experiment and make their cities and rural areas into living laboratories we feel that many of the initiatives mentioned here sound very interesting and if we can it can be facilitated through fintrust and uh, fusion the ceo of the organization is closely working with these government officials and can facilitate various forms of experimentation and uh, dissemination thank you thank you raja thank you, thank you. and so i think that uh, this is actually playing out to our students because i had asked everyone to say something about what the academic community could do so i guess that this is another call later on uh, mr sampath raj kumar maybe you can also say something but first does anyone have any questions for raja or comments uh okay then i'm going to ask you raja uh, right. the thing is uh is this the first time the indian government is trying to carry out such transformative change or have there been other initiatives in the past which which have been undertaken because certainly it's a very courageous to bring sanitation and cleanliness to the table the the official table for a national mission but have there been others which have been also trying to transform Yes, there have been programs in the past, and uh, we have also been associated with uh, some of them, and uh, 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 they have been driven by the central government ministries. For example, the urban ministry would uh, uh, fund various projects and programs, but it was a, as a matter of routine. 
And uh, in the rural side, we had a program called Total Sanitation Campaign. And uh, before that, so that lasted about 20 years. And before that, uh, uh, previous programs, but none of them had the imprint of the prime minister saying that this is most important and uh, appealing. It was not uh, just a push down, appealing to both self-respect and giving confidence that it is possible. And also it is new in the sense that he is combining all aspects or the program combines all aspects of cleanliness. Uh, uh, toilets is one aspect and toilets was uh, a proxy initially. One of the challenges is it was a proxy for making the country open defecation free. There's a different issue of people wondering, mere construction of toilets, does it help? What I want to emphasize here again is that uh, uh, construction of toilets was the initial buzzword. The present buzzword is that that is not enough. And we do have to manage the uh, uh, system as a whole, which is why the emphasis on solid and liquid waste management. So there is an awareness in this. And I want to raise one more point, last point, if I may be permitted, again, on behalf of uh, the commissioner, Mr. Himanshu Singh, in case he gets delayed, which is that uh, worldwide, in fact, in the earlier session also, uh, I'm just relating to it, we have discussions on toilets to prevent uh, uh, address defecation problem. And we have issues, uh, discussions relating to a uh, safe, a fecal sludge management or uh, uh, sewerage system as an alternative solution. Now, but there has been less discussion on what about the actual cleaning process of the uh, existing or planned for uh, septage management systems as well as sewerage systems. This is also related to manual scavenging or human contact with fecal matter. Now, in the cleaning part, if we are saying we're making toilets, fine, right, we are progressing. But if you're not addressing this thing of the cleaning process, because the cleaning pro uh, process is also not internalized and made better, then it is as good as a human, uh, I mean, open defecation because you're having human contact with uh, uh, fecal matter. Now to address this only today, which is World Toilet Day, the union government has come out with an open challenge, again, wanting cities to compete, and we hope that in Madhya Pradesh, we can work with the government with, uh, you know, some of the participants here. Can you come up with better solutions for uh, uh, non-human contact in cleaning, whether sewerage systems or septic tanks or any other system? This so is it's a challenge and there will be awards for this. And the challenge will be implemented over, I think, seven, eight months. Clock starts today. Thank you.